Hey there, look at this guy. He got a shout out. Do you want to get a shout out? Go ahead and join my Discord server, link in the description below. Also, go ahead and subscribe to my main channel for more content that's not Minecraft related. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Yo, how's it going everybody? It's me, Mario, and this is how to make a Minecraft data pack. Let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is make an empty folder on your desktop. You can call it whatever you want your data pack to be named. Right now I'm just making mine data pack, but you can change yours if you want to, it doesn't matter. So the first thing you want to do is open it up. And uh, before you start typing anything in, what you have to do is go to view. I don't know how to do this on uh, Mac, I'm very sorry, but you have to go to view right here and check file name extensions. This allows you to change the type of file. So uh, now what you want to do is make two files. One is a folder called data, and the next is a text document. And as you can see right, how, right now, this is a .txt file, and we want to change that. So what we have to do is just control A and select it and delete this, clear it out. And now we want to specify what type of file we want it to be. So we want to call it pack.mcmeta. And as you can see, if you change a uh, file name extension, the file might become unstable. Are you sure you want to change it? Just go ahead and check yes. And that's what you have right here. Now in our pack.mcmedia, all you have to do is just paste uh, what I have in the description. It is code that allows you to basically make the data pack. Uh, actually, I'm going to change this to 7 because it changes over time for 1.17. It was 7. That was just my mistake right there. And this is the description of the data pack. So I'm going to put a small video on the screen right now on where you can actually see the description of the data pack and what does it matter. Uh, right now, I'm just going to enter example. Oops. There we go. Example and uh, save it. Now, you want to go into data and you want to make two folders. One, you want to call it Minecraft. And the other, you want to call it uh, the name of the data pack you want. Right now, I'm going to call it data, data pack underscore example. You can't use this spaces here because it, otherwise it won't work. So what you want to do right now is go into your Minecraft folder that you made right now. You go into here and you make a new folder. You call it tags and you go into tags and you make another folder. You call it functions. There you go, very easy. And now uh, what you want to do is go into functions and make two new text documents. You want to call one load.json. Yes. And you want to call the other one tick.json. Yes, I want to like that. And now you want to open these files. So go to load.json. Uh, you can open it with your regular text editor, but I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. That's what I usually use. And I'm going to open this right here. So as you can see, it's right there. And open tick.json. So you're going to have to copy another text of code from the description. So you, first of all, you want to go into load.json and paste this right here. So Let's break this down real quick. What you have right here is what you wanted your uh, folder right here in functions. You wanted this folder. Uh, you want those to match. So you put that like there, right here. So as you can see, they match. And what you need here is to put the name of the data pack and then start. Now you have that, it's all good. And then you want to go into tick.json Copy in the same thing, but put in here loop, All right? Save it, close up, go back to your folder, and that's all you need to do in here. Now that you've set this up, you want to go into datapack underscore example, which is what you want to put your code in, but uh, you have to make another folder and you have to call it functions. That's where you code. Now you open functions, and you need to put in uh, two new files. One is going to be start.mc function. 
change it. And the other one is gonna be loop. Loop.mc function. MC function, of course, meaning Minecraft function. That's how you access your data packs and stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. You're ready to code your Minecraft data pack. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And in my next video, I'll teach you how to break a Minecraft resource pack. And yeah, I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.